All right, so welcome to another session of our lectures. Um, we are looking at differential equations. Differential equations. And so far, we've defined what a differential equation is. We had it that differential equation, I have it as D, is an equation involving an unknown function and its derivative. We also consider the classifications of differential equations. It says we can classify differential equation with respect to its type, which is OD and then PD, ordinary and then partial. We can also classify it with respect to the order, which means we can have order one, order two, order three, through to the end order. And we define order as a highest order derivative in the equation. We also classified respect to degree. And it says you can have a degree of one, degree of two, and so on and so forth. We also classified respect to whether it is linear or nonlinear. And the last classification has to do with whether the equation is homogeneous or non-homogeneous. We've talked about this once. Now, the interesting thing about differential equation is that you must be able to solve the differential equation to obtain a solution. And this solution gives meaning to whatever phenomenon we are looking at. And so the next thing is to look at solutions to ordinary differential equations. It means we are looking at respect to the type OD. How do we solve solutions to this? And under that, we'll consider just the first order. So from time, we move to order one. How do we solve for an OD, which is of order one? And that is what we we'll look at now. And so the objective is two. We want to know the representations of first order ODs, and then we want to look at the solutions to this first order. And so for this first session, I'll take you through the standard and differential representations of ODs. So solutions to, or solution techniques to first order differential equation. And under this, we are looking at the representations, which is very important to know. There are two forms of representation, the standard and then the differential form. So with the standard form, we always have a first order defined as y equal to a function f of x, y, or any other function. I can rewrite this as the y dx is equal to f of x, y. In the stand, this is the standard form. So I have it as STD. I can write a differential form of this if I can have it such that I have some coefficient mxy dx is equal to another coefficient nxy dy, sorry, dx. And so how do I do that? You realize that from this, I can have a cross multiplication. So I have dy over dx is equal to f of x, y over one. That is the assumption. So if I have a cross multiplication this way, then I can rewrite this as dy is equal to f of x, y, dx. It simply means that the coefficient of m, x, y is one. And the coefficient of n, x, y is a function f of x, y. And that is simply how we write the standard form and then the differential form. And let's take a quick example here from the table. So I'll move to a differentiate. If I have the differential equation as x, y prime minus y squared, to write in the standard form, I'll rewrite this as x, I know y prime is the same as dy dx minus y squared. 
it can be equal to zero, anything we don't know. And so making the y dx the subject, I'll have it as x dy dx is equal to y squared. And hence, my dy dx is equal to y squared over x. This is a standard representation. Now let's take the differential form of the same question, the differential form. So I, I over here, I can write the differential form as, if I have the cross multiplication, it means I have x dy is equal to y squared dx. And it's simply the differential form for that question, as simple as that. So let me show my solutions. And as you can see, that is what we have. Okay. It means that the coefficient here represents the m of x, y, and then y squared represents that of n of x, y. Please, these representations are very important. So you take note of them. Example two. Example two. The differential equation given is y into brackets y y prime minus one equals x in a standard form it means i want to make y prime what the subject of interest so how do i do that i'm doing that step by step i would first want to div divide both through by y so i get x over y and i can have y y prime is equal to x over y what plus one which implies that y prime is equal to x over y plus one all over y. Hence, in the standard form, dy dx is equal to x over y plus one all over y. This is my standard representation, and that is the solution. If I want a differential form, Moving from the standard form, I can write a differential form by taking what? The cross product. And so it becomes y dy is equal to x over y plus 1 dx. This is a differential form. And so that is how we write that of the standard form and then the differential form. Okay, so I hope this is well understood. From this representation, then we can look at the solutions to first order differential equation. Thank you.